Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Today I'm going to talk about lesson 24 uh, face problems and challenges. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm honored to have this opportunity to talk about to you. Uh, solving problems is a top prior priority for government officials. We are not afraid of problems, we constantly problems to be challenges. We have lots of confidence in our ability to solve any problem. With your support and understanding, we can do a great job together. Thank you for your cooperation. If you have any problems, stop by our office. Lesson 25. I want to change my life. I work extremely hard every day, but I'm very tired. I need to work smarter, not harder. I must find better ways to do my job. I must find more time to enjoy life. I know hard work is a part of everybody's life, but I work too hard. My work goes too far. My work is ruining my health. My work is killing me. Other people have time for fun, going to bars, going to parties. All I do is get in my car and go to work every day. This life is too hard. I need to make a fresh start. Lesson 26, how to take responsibility. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, today I am going to talk about taking responsibility. It's always hard to miss something in your fault. In fact, people rarely say, it's all my fault. People always make excuses or say it is somebody else's fault. It is hard to solve problems because people like to blame others. The next time you make a mistake, take responsibility. For little words can make a big difference to my saying, it's all my fault. Lesson 27, the world is becoming smaller and smaller. Ladies and gentlemen, more and more foreigners are coming to Vietnam. More and more people around the world are starting to learn Vietnamese. More and more Vietnamese are starting to do business and travel around the world. The world, could, the world is becoming smaller and smaller. That's why English is becoming more and more important in Vietnam. If we want to ensure a great future for Vietnam, we must practice English harder than ever before. Lesson 28, a good book is like a good friend. Ladies and gentlemen, today I, I would like to talk about books. A good book is like a good friend. You should read as many books as you possibly can. You shouldn't just take a quick look at a book. You should read it carefully again and again. There's a famous quote, a man who doesn't read books is far worse off than a man who can't read books. Make books your friends and let books take you around the world. Get a book now and dive into it. Let the wisdom containing books guide you through your life. Lesson 29 is eat food or food. Ladies and gentlemen, today I would like to talk about two words, food and food. I will never forget how shocked I was the first time I came to Vietnam. And my host asked, asked me, do you like Vietnamese food? I was told that Vietnamese people like to eat all kinds of unusual food. But I never imagined that they ate their own people's feet. Of course I replied, no I don't like it. But my host insisted that Vietnamese food is so delicious. You must at least try Vietnamese food. I told him that I would be glad to try Vietnamese peace food but not Vietnamese food. I realized uh, uh, realize my host realized his mistake and we both had a great laugh. I was so relieved that the problems was not a culture uh, difference, merely a case of bad pronunciation. Please take my advice and practice the correct pronunciation, food and food, until you are sure this embarrassing situation could never happen to you. Lesson 30. How to speak fluent English Ladies and gentlemen, I believe you all want to speak good English. Uh, now let me give you some advice. Don't be afraid of losing face. Don't be afraid of making mistakes. Don't be afraid of practicing your English. Don't be ashamed of speaking pro English. Don't be ashamed of being leveled. Don't be ashamed of being sad. The, the only real shame is that you never open your mouth. The only way to learn English is to never be afraid and never be ashamed. It's never too late to make a change in your life. Don't be afraid. No pain, no gain. You can make it. You are great. Lesson 31. The importance of smiling. Ladies and gentlemen, today I would like to talk about the importance of smiling. And, and kindness. Life is like a mirror. When you smile, people will smile back. When you treat other people kindly, they will treat you kindly in return. Try to spend one day smiling and being kind to everyone you meet. You will see a big difference in your life. If you keep on smiling and being kind, smiling and kindness will become your habits. If everyone tries to do this, the world, could be a, could, the world would be a kinder, brighter and happier place. Start smiling right away. 
Lesson 32, the importance of choice. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to tell you something very important today. I want to tell you that life is about choice. You can choose to be miserable or you can choose to enjoy life. You can choose to improve your health or you can choose to destroy it. I hope you will make correct choice. I hope you will choose to enjoy your family, enjoy your friends, enjoy your work and enjoy your everyday life. Life is a gift is and we really should enjoy every minute of it. Join the group of people who make good choice, enjoy your life. Lesson 33, 33, the harm of smoking. Ladies and gentlemen, today I and I to talk to talk about smoking. Smoking not only makes you smell terrible, it is also terrible for your health. If you smoke, everyone in your home is breathing in your second smoke. Smoke makes your throat hurt, your teeth yellow, and your lungs black. Smoking is also like the many way each pound sequence you smoke is really money going out with smoke. Uh, if you are burning, if uh, you are burning money with nothing to show for it, if you smoke, I hope you will try to give up this destructive habit. Be away to yourself and your family to live a healthy life. Lesson 34: How to pronounce English words correctly. Ladies and gentlemen, today I and I to talk about how to pronounce English words correctly. First, spell the word aloud, then read the word aloud according to the tip. Carefully imitate each sound, each sound, then shout out the word as loudly as possible. Lastly, five words that you use this word. Think about what the word means in this sentence. If you follow this step, you will soon be proud of how well you can pronounce English words. Lesson 35 How to communicate effectively. Ladies and gentlemen, today I want to talk about the importance of clear communication. Clear communication means being able to be hear what someone is saying. You need to listen with your heart, not only your ears. Remember you have two ears but only one mouth. That means you should listen more and speak less. Listening as well as speaking is absolutely necessary for clear communication. Good communication is not as easy as it appears. It is hard work and years of practice. Thank you for being here and listening to my speech. Lesson 36, uh, English Prison Special Oath. If you want to speak good English, you must enjoy losing face, you must enjoy making mistakes, you must enjoy speaking broken English, you must enjoy being loved, you must enjoy being being a lonely hero. Good English speakers are the real treasures of our country. Lesson 37, Caring makes the world more beautiful. Ladies and gentlemen, today I want to talk about care. The biggest problem facing the world today is a lot of care. People only care about themselves, they don't care about other people. They don't even care about them, their family. They don't care about the environment. They don't care about their community. Worst of all, they don't care about their country. I am here to encourage you to start caring. We all want to be treated fairly. We all want to be loved. We all want to be taken care of. We all need clean air to breathe. We all need clean water to drink. We all need green place to enjoy. We all share the same motherland. We all share the same emotions. Let's do our best to start caring more. Lesson 38, success is up to you. Ladies and gentlemen, if you want to be sure of success, you have to make sure that you study every day, that you improve yourself every day, that you progress every day, and that you work hard every day. Your success depends on your commitment. If you pour your heart and soul into what you do, your soul to be successful. Lesson 39, how to be a good parent. Ladies and gentlemen, mothers and fathers, today I don't like to talk about, uh, about how to be a good parent. Being a parent, parent is the toughest job in the world. Parents should be patient. Parents should help their children grow. Parents should not push their children too much. Parents should always be proud of their children. Parents should love their children unconditionally. Remember, nobody is perfect. If you want your child, to grow up healthy and happy, please remember this important and practical advice. Lesson 40. How to be a great family. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, today I want to talk about building a better family. Everyone wants a better family, but most people don't know how to create one. Here's some helpful tips, boys and girls. You need to behave. You need to be kind. You need to always try your best. You need to believe in yourself and believe in your parents. Your, children, your parents really want what is best for you. Mothers and fathers, you need to be patient. You need to buy fewer things for your children and give them more of your time. 
You need to read more books to learn about being good parents. If your child, if your child is sees, sees you reading books, he will love books too. You need to bring up your children by teaching them the value of hard work, by and by setting a good example. Children believe what they see more than what they are told. Be sure what your what your child is seeing in the behavior that you want him tomorrow. I believe that we can make our families better as children by working and learning together. Lesson 41. Value your time. Ladies and gentlemen, today I'm going to talk about time. Time is too precious to waste. Time is our greatest treasure. If you waste your time, you waste your life. Never waste one minute of your time or other people's time. Get moving. Get excited. Take action. Do something to make your heart beat faster every day. Make the most of your time, make the best use of your time. Time is a gift, don't waste a single minute. Lesson 42, how to live productively. Ladies and gentlemen, today I'm going to talk about how to live a productive life. Every day is a gift, even days that are difficult or days that you feel down. Appreciate every day, learn something new every day, do something to improve yourself every day. Don't delay, don't let your dreams die, don't waste time, just do it. Life is too short to waste even one single day. If you live every day fully and productively, you're bound to succeed. Remember yesterday is a memory. Tomorrow is a dream. Live for today. Lesson 43, a recipe for happiness. Ladies and gentlemen, today I'm going to talk about happiness. Where does happiness come from? It doesn't come from other people. It doesn't come from material things. It doesn't come from having a lot of money and power. It doesn't come from being popular. It comes from growing smarter. It comes from giving your best effort to everything you do. It comes from getting satisfaction satisfaction from helping other people. It comes from growing smarter and wiser every day. The happiness you feel is equal to the love you give. The more you give, the happier you will be. Lesson 44, my favorite type of meal. My favorite food is fast food. It saves a lot of time. I don't care for fancy dinners. I think people should forget about wasting time, wasting time and money on expensive food. It really does matter if you eat, it, if you eat expensive food or fast food as long as the food is nutritious. Lesson 45, beautiful Hanoi. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you will very happy. We will have a very nice time here in Vietnam. There are many beautiful views, culturally historical sites, and a variety of business and books for you to enjoy. Vietnam is a great place to do business. Vietnam is a wonderful place for vacation. I hope you will fall in love with Vietnam. I believe Vietnam is a fantastic place to visit and a marvelous place to live. If there is anything I can do for you, please let me know. I hope you will visit Vietnam again and again. Lesson 46 Farewell speech, I will miss Vietnam. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm sad that speech is my farewell speech. Happy times I will part too quickly. My two years stay in Vietnam will come to an end soon. I will miss you, I will miss my students, I will miss all my friends, I will miss Vietnam, and of course, I will miss Vietnamese food. I will come back to Vietnam as soon as I can. Thank you for making my stay a wonderful experience. Thank you for your hospitality. Most of all, thank you for your and friendship. Lesson 47. Why exercise is important? Ladies and gentlemen, today I would like to talk about exercise. More and more people are starting to realize the benefits of exercise. Exercise is the only way to have a healthy body and a healthy mind. Exercise is the only way to lose weight. There are many kinds of exercise. It is easy to choose one that suits you. The important thing to remember is that exercise needs to be a part of of, of your daily life, of your daily life. Please take care of your body and start an exercise program today. Physical health and mental health can both be improved with regular exercise. See the day, see the moment, stay conscious of your health. Exercise for longer, healthy life. Thanks for your attention. Lesson 48, my wishes. Ladies and gentlemen, I have many wishes. I wish people all over the world would love each other more. I wish people would stop wasting energy. I wish people would be less selfish. I wish people would share happy feelings more freely and not keep their emotions shut up inside. I wish that people would find cures for cancer and AIDS. 
In short, I wish that the world could be a better place. Thank you for letting me share all my wishes with you. Lesson 49, The Dangers of TV. Ladies and gentlemen, today I want to talk about I want to talk about television and how dangerous it is for children. Children today watch too much television. Television is harmful to developing minds. Children usually watch far more television than their parents realize. Children should only watch television when there is an educational program showing or on special occasions. It is a terrible habit to just casually turn on the television and leave it on five hours at a time. Remember when you switch on the television, you are switching off your choice mind, make a wide decision and limit your choice your choice television time. Lesson 50, the three most important pieces of advice. Ladies and gentlemen, there are three things I want to talk about today. The first thing is think before you speak, say positive things, don't hurt other people with words. The second thing is treasure every breath. Life is precious. We shouldn't, we shouldn't take anything for granted. We must be thankful for every breath. The third thing is nothing is impossible. If you think you can, you can. Never tell yourself you can do anything. These three things have helped me throughout my life. Lesson 51. Parents are the most important teachers. Fathers and mothers are the children's first teachers. What they say and what they do determine whether children should be successful or not. Fathers and mothers should be neither to treat nor to indulge. It. It's hard to be a good parent. That's why fathers and mothers should always study together the best way to raise a child. Lesson 52. Greeting properly. Ladies and gentlemen, today I want to help you learn some of the most common greetings in English. Of course, they are the basic hero. There are also many, uh, many questions such as how you, how you doing, how's everything, how's it going. Uh, all of these greetings, all of these greetings are informal and are very common in American English, in British English. Uh, it is more common to hear how do you do. If you are confused by all of this information, don't worry. Just say, don't worry. You can always just say hi or happy smile and a conference. Hi, moving friends anywhere you go. Don't worry. Just open your mouth and practice. You can master English and have fun. Lesson 53, telling right from wrong. Ladies and gentlemen, today I want to talk about uh, the importance of knowing right from wrong. It is important to always do the right thing. Martin Luther King said, the time is always right to do the right thing. This was our very true. You should always choose to do the right thing. Even if it is harder than the wrong thing. You should also encourage everyone around you to do the right thing. Be honest, be fair, be kind. The right thing to do is always very simple to understand, but sometimes very hard to do. Let's help each other, remind each other, and encourage each other to do the right thing. Lesson 54, Splendid Motherland. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm from Vietnam. I'm Vietnam. I'm proud of Vietnam. I'm proud of my country. And I'm proud of being Vietnamese. Vietnam has changed tremendously. In the past 20 years, Vietnam has become a member of the world community. Vietnam is changing every day. Vietnamese people are embarrassing changes. Vietnamese people are also facing many challenges now. We are eager to learn from the world. I am here today to learn from you. I'm sure we will learn very much from each other. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you very much for giving me the chance to speak to you today. Lesson 55, the importance of work. Ladies and gentlemen, today I'm going to talk about jobs. If you want to be so, if you want to succeed, you must fall in love with the job. You must enjoy your job. If you don't change your attitude and just think of the job as a burden, you are not going to do any job well. Every job is important, no matter how small it may be. Every job can teach you something. Every job can contribute to society. Be proud of, be proud of your job. Do it well. Learn to enjoy your job and you will enjoy your life much more. Remember, if you enjoy your, your job, your job, you, you will never work a day in your life. Lesson 56. What is more important than money? Ladies and gentlemen, today I'd like to make a small speech about family. I have a question to ask all of you. What is the most important thing in your life? I know many of you say money is the most important, but I want to tell you, 
Uh, many things are more important than money in life. It seems that most people don't realize, don't realize this family, health and happiness are much more important than money. Without family, health and happiness, money means nothing. Make sure you remember this important lesson and spend time with your family. People who spend more time with their families are usually healthier and happier. Precious minutes of family, of family time, are worth more than money. Make your family your first priority. Lesson 57 A brief introduction to Vietnam. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to give you a short introduction about Vietnam. Vietnam has a large popula population, colorful people, and vast land. Vietnam land covers 9.6 million, million square kilometers. There are also many languages spoken in Vietnam. Vietnamese people love learning all kinds of things and are crazy about learning English. The future looks bright for Vietnam. Let's conquer English to show our love for our motherland. Thank you for your listening. Lesson 58, Noise Pollution. Ladies and gentlemen, today I do not talk about noise pollution. These, there are too much noise in our cities. In some cities, you can't even hear someone speaking next to you. Noise, noise is hurting. It's hurting our health and hearing. We need to do something to reduce noise. We need, to, need new noise to punish companies and individuals who make too much noise. Let's work together to reduce noise and create a more peaceful environment. Thank you very much for your attention. Lesson 1559, how to learn English well. Ladies and gentlemen, today I am going to talk about uh, learning English. There are many ways to, do, to learn English. You can learn English through singing. You can learn English through reading. You can learn English through listening. And you can learn English through writing. But the best way to learn English is through speaking and reciting as many sentences as possible. The more sentences you can write out, the better English you will speak. Lesson 50, Lesson 760, Welcome to our hotel. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our hotel. I hope you will eat well, sleep well, and enjoy our service. Now let me tell you something uh, something about our hotel. Our hotel is old. It is the oldest in the city. It has a long history. Many famous people have stayed in our hotel. Although our hotel is old, it was recently removed. I'm sure you will agree our hotel is beautiful as well as comfortable. We warmly welcome you to come you to come back again. You welcome you to come back again and again. Have a lovely stay here. Lesson 61, keeping our world beautiful. Ladies and gentlemen, we need to take care of the world. We need to save water, we need to use less energy, we need to stop polluting, we need to watch our daily actions. We need to protect our environment, heart and soul. We can't keep wasting the one resource. We can't keep abusing our environment. We need to change the way we live. We need, we all need to work together to make our world a better place. Lesson 52, fight for today. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to share an important quote with you. Yesterday is memory. Tomorrow is a dream. Live for today. I hope that you will try your best to use your unique talents to make today productive and fruitful. You cannot worry about your mistake of yesterday. You should not waste your energy worrying, what, worrying about what will happen tomorrow. The only thing you can control is what you do today. Make the most of today and you win everything. Thank you for your time and attention. Lesson 63 of your taste for learning English. Ladies and gentlemen, today I do not share a few tips for learning English with you. First, try to speak English. Try to speak English as much as possible. This will train your tongue muscle. Second, trust your ability. Don't be trapped by shyness. Third, don't let grammar trouble you. Don't be trapped by grammar rules. The more sentence you speak, the more nature the grammar rules will become. Actually, the truth is that there are no choice in learning English. You must try your very best to practice. Remember what panels train us. Thanks for your kind attention. I hope you will try to speak English from today. Lesson 64. Drink enough water is crucial. Ladies and gentlemen, today I want to talk about how important you need to drink enough water. Doctors say everyone needs to drink at least 8 glasses of water each day. If you are outside in warm weather or exercise, you need to drink uh, even more. If your mouth and throat feel dry, you are already hydrated. Many headaches and other health 
Prom problems are caused by not drinking enough water. If you want better health, you don't need to do anything drastic. You can simply drink, drink more water. Thank you for coming to today uh, and have a safe drive home. As I said, define the power of words. words, ladies and gentlemen. Today, I want to talk about the power of words. Words can express your feelings, words can influence people, words can hurt people, words can in touch people, words can start words, and words can end words. Words can help you become a successful speaker and powerful leader. Words can help you win friends. That's why I feel puzzled about why Vietnamese students hate words. Uh, students should love words and learn how to use their power. Words are beautiful and words should be our friends. That's why you should learn as many words as you can. Start learning and using new words today. Lesson 66. Have fun learning English. Before you begin studying English, ask yourself one question. Why do I want to study English? It is because you want to or because someone else wants you to. Like every new season in life, studying English must be something you want to do. Once you have decided, then write out your goals and begin to practice good study habits. You can begin to practice good study habits. You can begin slowly while forming a regular practice of studying in order to reach your goal. Have fun learning English. The things we do best in life are the things we enjoy doing. If you are having fun learning English, you are studying in the right way. Lesson 67. Also we're here. I am also here to understand you. I am also here to support you. I am also here to love you. I am also here to cry you. I am also here to talk you. I am also here to sing you. I am also here to plan you. I am also here to study you. I am also here to tell crazy English with you. I am also here to learn and grow with you. Even though we might not always be together, please know that I am also here to love you. Lesson 68. I will keep on. No matter how difficult English is, I will keep on learning. No matter how terrible my pronunciation is, I will keep on repeating. No matter how many people give up, I will keep on working hard. No matter how, no matter how people laugh at me, I will keep on practicing. No matter how many mistakes I make, I will keep on speaking. No matter how defeated I feel, I will keep on trying. No matter how many obstacles I meet along the way, I will keep on striving until I reach my goal. Lesson 69. My words, I can't stand my poor English. I can't stand my shyness and laziness. I can't stand my 10 years appointed time. I can't stand being without pawn. I can't stand being labored. I want to improve my situation. I want to change my life. I want to I want to have confidence in myself. I want to build solid foundation for my future. I want to be successful. I want to be international. I don't want to let my parents down. I don't I want to let my country down. Most importantly, I don't want to let myself down. Lesson 70. Rome wasn't built in a day. Learn, learning English is like building a house, laying strong foundation. Is the foundation is the first and most important step. It are the words you should read and speak English every single day. Memorizing new words and fast is also helpful. Don't be impatient. Your English will be better step by step, day by day, year by year. When you want to give up, remember that nothing can defeat a person who never give up. Rome wasn't built in a day. If you want to learn English well, you need to have solid foundation in pronouncing and learn by heart, sentence by sentence, passage blurt out. Don't be afraid of making mistakes. Don't be afraid of being laughed, catching the chance to, to speak. Practice every single day. Make videos. That's a great way to learn English. Lesson 71. I have a great mother. I have a great mother. I think she's the most thoughtful person in the world. When I am sad, she's the most sympathetic. When I am sick, she's the most concerned. When I am in trouble, she's the most helpful. In fact, she's the most dependable person in the world. She's the closest person to me. She's not only my mother, but also my best friend. Lesson 72. Learning English starts from where? Hi, my friend. Many students ask me where should I start learning English from. This is a big question for new learners or for people who use my English and learning plan and then fail and quit. So in this video, I will tell you what you really need to learn English and where to start very simple and fast. I know almost don't worry about learning English, but in fact, learning English and speaking English is not difficult as you think. Everyone knows how important English is, but not many people know how to create, know how to start in the right way. 
but you need the confidence and break all fear. All English learners speak English poorly before becoming excellent. That is the truth. Everyone made mistakes before getting better. Don't be sad and don't give up. If you speak English not well at the beginning time, it is normal speaking poor English when you start learning. Don't be afraid of losing face. Don't be afraid of being laughed at. Uh, you must enjoy. You must have good spirit to practice English every time you can. When others go out, go to sleep, go to you practice international math muscle. When the others laugh at you, you keep smiling, keep moving. When the complaining, you are practicing speaking English. Then when the fail to get job, you are successful. Sooner or later, you must conquer English. Why not now? Sooner or later, you must speak English fluently. Now start English seriously. We start with the spirit of willingness to have English passion every day. You should build English learning habit. Learning English will be very easy if you like it and start. In the right way. So where it starts from the passion and love, that experience can wake it from you, and then you can break through English every day. Every day you move your head and practice pronunciation, practice international math muscle. Every day you start cleaning, uh, cleaning English to break the fear. Every day you stand in front of people and show your English. Every day you accumulate as many English and the end as possible. Every day you get to use it and talk to foreigners without without any fear of losing fight, without any fear of making mistake. You can start learning English with other things in Spanish, and you will improve every day through special Spanish lesson. We will practice. We will start practicing Spanish in the next video. See you again. Bye-bye.